Hey everyone, I'm Ariana with CyberGeeks, where we empower internet users around the world to protect your privacy, safety, and access to free and fair information by using a VPN. Macs are known for security and ease of use. Typical malware that can eat up a Windows machine is simply no match for the built-in safety measures that come on a Mac. However, when your connection leaves Mac and reaches the World Wide Web, it becomes as vulnerable as the connections from other operating systems. That's why you still need to use a virtual private network, better known as a VPN, to protect your data and identity online. If you're a Mac person, you probably value products that are easy to use and work flawlessly. Unfortunately, many VPNs have messy user interfaces and are overcrowded with features that you'll likely never use anyway. So in today's video, we'll review three of the best VPNs for Mac users and share which one is our top pick. Starting with our top pick, NordVPN. We've already made an entire video reviewing the incredible performance of Nord, which you can watch here. But let's talk about why it's so great for Mac users specifically. Nord is a great mix of industry leading security and features while still maintaining a clean user friendly interface. It has certain customizations for more advanced users, but it's simple enough that it kind of saves a lot of us from ourselves. So it's easy, but can grow with your needs too. Most users, myself included, just want a VPN that's fast, secure, reliable, fuss free and affordable and that is Nord. Nord has consistently proven to be the fastest VPN on the market, both in our own tests and in this recent study consisting of over 200,000 tests, Nord is almost always first place in speed. This is a huge deal if you're gonna be streaming movies or shows or gaming, since it's fast enough to not give you any lag or latency issues. And speed is also just important for practical daily use because if you're getting that annoying little buffering wheel, you know the one I'm talking about, chances are you're eventually just gonna get fed up and turn off your VPN and now you're right back where you started and it opens you back up to all sorts of cyber threats. As for features, Nord has VPN chaining or what they call double VPN, which allows you to connect through two VPN servers one after another. While connecting through one VPN server is already pretty safe, connecting through two double encrypts your data, making it super jumbled and therefore super safe. They also have an automatic kill switch, which protects you even if you accidentally lose connection to a VPN server, protecting your data from leaking to the web. You also get what's called obfuscation, which makes it so that no one can even tell that you're using a VPN in the first place, including your internet service provider or ISP. With Nord, you won't get split tunneling on a Mac since that feature is only available to Android and Windows users. But in my opinion, that kind of works out because a lot of us Mac users aren't really into fussing with a lot of those advanced settings anyway, and we'd hardly even use it if we did have it. And lastly, as far as server availability, Nord offers over 5,100 servers located in about 60 countries all around the globe, ensuring that you'll be able to connect to a server in pretty much any region you want and never have to share your server with thousands of other users. For a little context, Nord has about the third largest server list out there, so definitely more than enough for what I and probably you need without being overkill. While all other VPNs of this caliber are also the most expensive ones, Nord is fortunately an awesome value. There are currently three plans that you can choose from. It's by far the best value to cost ratio out there, and you're definitely not gonna find another VPN that offers this much for this price. But they don't have absolutely everything, so depending on your needs, one of the others on our list today might be better for you. So keep watching and let's find out. CyberGhost. CyberGhost is another great VPN for Mac users since it has a nice clean interface, it's user-friendly, and there's one aspect where they really stand out, and that's their server list. CyberGhost offers over 7,000 servers in more than 90 countries, which is second only to PIA, who we're not featuring in today's video because it's typically not a great fit for Mac users. Honestly, even 7,000 servers might be unnecessary even for the most avid VPN users, but if you're specifically looking for a huge server list to give you servers in lots of little obscure locations, CyberGhost might be your best option. It's also worth noting that out of CyberGhost's 7,000 servers, over two 
2,000 of them are located in Europe, making it one of the better VPNs for Mac users who live there. As generally speaking, the closer a VPN server is to your actual location, the faster your connection will be. Speaking of which, I have to say that speeds are not as strong with CyberGhost, but there is one saving grace that I'll mention. In speed tests, they're average at best and actually ranked eighth on this recent one. So this could cause issues while you're using it, but that saving grace that I touched on is that the Mac app has a designated tab just for dedicated streaming servers. So if you wanna stream your favorite show, CyberGhost does have a separate list of the best servers suited for this specific purpose. So in theory, you'll get better, more streaming level speeds by utilizing that feature. CyberGhost also comes with features like that automatic kill switch and split tunneling, which like I mentioned, is a little more of an advanced feature that lets you choose to use a VPN for certain things and not others. Like if you wanna use your VPN to protect your email and your banking apps, but you don't wanna use it on your Maps app so that you can actually search things conveniently in your area rather than having your VPN geotag you in Croatia. So if you want that, there you go. Continuing on features, CyberGhost does not offer VPN chaining and no obfuscation. So potentially a little less secure than say a Nord, but again, some of these are typically used by more advanced users anyway, so you may or may not even need to worry about it. However, there is a little bit of a bitter pill to swallow here. Although CyberGhost swears by their no logs policy, they have yet to go through a third party audit on this meaning that it's not officially confirmed whether or not they keep any user logs. So there is a small chance that if they were to have a data leak in the future, your private information could leak right out with it. Nord and our last VPN here have both been audited by a third party and proven to not store any data logs. So if that's really important to you, you may wanna go with one of these other two. As for price, it's one of the most expensive VPNs out there on a monthly plan, but drops significantly when you get to the two-year plan, so about a dollar less than Nord a month. So you're not getting the premium performance that you get with Nord, but you do get more servers, split tunneling, and a lower price if you want to go with a longer term plan. Surfshark. Surfshark offers a VPN with one of the cleanest user interfaces. It's just intuitive to use, and even first time users of a VPN can pretty easily navigate it. Its Mac app runs really smoothly and offers most things a Mac VPN user would want, including one big bonus feature that we're going to get to in a minute. We'll start with servers. Surfshark has over 3,000 servers in over 60 countries, which is a sufficient amount for most users. While it's fewer than most of its competitors, it's more than enough for everyday VPN use. However, Surfshark outcompetes some of its competitors in the VPN protocol selection in the Mac OS app. While most other VPN providers only offer one protocol in their macOS apps, Surfshark offers two, iKev2 and OpenVPN. If you're not familiar with VPN protocols, it's essentially a set of rules guiding your connection to a VPN server. Having a selection of either iKev2 or OpenVPN can allow you to customize and maximize your VPN experience, but it's usually those more advanced users that would even get into that anyway. For most people, one protocol is more than enough, but if you want more control, go with Surfshark. As for features, Surfshark's Mac OS app offers the most extensive lineup on our list today with VPN chaining, automatic kill switch, obfuscation, and split tunneling. So what about that big bonus feature that I mentioned? Unlike most other VPN providers, including the other two in our video today, Surfshark offers unlimited simultaneous connections. That means that you can protect as many devices as you want all at the same time under just one account. If you're like me and you only use a couple of devices at a time in your household, this doesn't matter at all. But if you're living in a large household with lots of devices or you're a gamer who wants to have a bunch of your friends over and you wanna use your VPN to enhance your gaming session, then it's a huge deal to have unlimited device connections. So all in all, Surfshark is a great VPN for Mac OS. If you don't care about a smaller number of servers and you highly value ease of use and those unlimited simultaneous devices, Surfshark is probably your best bet. Conclusion. In conclusion, our top recommendation overall for the best VPN for Mac is NordVPN. But it's really up to you and your personal needs. In case you wanna check them out, we've linked them in the description box down below, along with an additional discount for you. 
Hopefully you learned something new in this video and enjoyed it. If so, do me a favor and hit that like button down there and subscribe to our channel where we share all sorts of useful and up-to-date information on all things VPNs and cybersecurity. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'd love to help out in any way that we can. And I'd be curious to hear what VPN you use and how you're liking it. So jump down there and let me know. I'm Ariana and until next time, stay safe, stay informed and stay awesome. See you around.